All right, this is going to be a quick walkthrough on how to do an ANOVA in the Jamobi software. So what you're going to do first, Jamobi makes this really easy to find. You're going to come up here to your ANOVA tab and you're going to click ANOVA and you're going to tell it for this example that we're doing a one-way ANOVA. Drag this out over here so you can see it. So the first thing we're going to do in this pretend data set, what I've done is I've evaluated the test score based on what type of music they were listening to. Um, I set up a much bigger example in my PSPP example video for this, but basically if I want to see does music affect how you do on a test and I want to try out three different types of music. I want to try classical music, fan favorites, and just ambient music. So I'm wanting to see did the type of music that was playing in the class affect the test scores of the students. So remember, what is affecting what, right? Music is affecting test scores. So that means that test scores is my dependent variable. So I'm going to click on test score, move it over here. Now my grouping variable is basically saying, what are my groups that I am comparing? What's my independent variable? So for this example, we're going to have the class, the type of music that was playing in that class. And again, I always click on this descriptives table because I like to see it. So what you have then is you're showing within your one-way ANOVA, it is significant, right? So we're going to do our post hoc to see how, but we do see it significant because we have our p-value of less than 0.05. And we can see just looking at our descriptive statistics that our classical music mean was a seven, our fan favorites mean was a four, and our ambient music mean was a 4.3. And so now, since we have this being statistically significant, we can come over here and tell it that we want a post hoc test to see exactly which ones. Now, when you first open it, yours might look collapsed like this. Um, it's not grayed out, meaning you can't use it. It just means you have to drop it down with that little arrow. So I always, um, for my classes, instruct using Tukey. Um, we can talk. Uh, if you have individual questions about when you would use different post hoc tests for what types of data set and what type of NOVA, that's a little bit beyond the scope of our introduction to statistics course. But we can, if, if you have a question that's something you want to know and you think you might actually do this for work or a project, email me and I would be happy to do a tutorial for you. Let me scoot myself out of the way up here. So now we can go down here and the way that this chart is set, it, set up is what it's showing you is Here's the statistical significance if I'm comparing classical to fan favorites. Here's the statistical significance if I'm comparing classical to ambiance. So that's how you read this, this chart, the way it's set up. The significance if I compare fan favorites to ambiance. So if you look at these and you look at your p-values, what you'll see, what this chart is telling you, is that classical music was statistically different from fan favorites and classical music was statistically different from ambient music. However, fan favorites was not statistically significantly different, different from ambient music. And that would make sense if you look at these means, right? It would make logical sense because 4 and 4.3, those are pretty similar test scores. But then if classical music was all the way up here to 7, that makes sense that classical music was probably different from both of these, but they might not have been different from each other. Um, you can also remember you have this checkbox down here for flag significant comparisons. If you do need a little help being able to look at it and remember what your cutoffs are that you're looking for. And another thing that you can do is if you're a very visual person, you can check over here on your descriptive plots. And this is actually going to graph this out for you. And so again, looking at this, you probably would have been able to guess. I have a statistically significant ANOVA. It's probably going to be that classical music is different than the others. You still want to read the chart, but again, if you're a very visual person and you like charts and graphs, this might be a helpful tool for you to help decipher and know kind of what you're looking for in this post hoc test graph. And so that is how you do a one-way ANOVA using the Jamobi software. Please feel free to email me if you have any questions or comments about any of those steps.